Hi guys, I just want to share with you this lesson and the preparation for mathematics examination. So guys, I just want to show you something. Uh, let us do paper one. Yeah, let us do paper one. Yeah, paper one. And that will be, um, yeah, that is February, March 2018. February, uh, February March 2018. So, I just want to check with you and then make sure that everything is running okay. Now, we are going to share the screen. We are going to share the screen right now. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, this is what we are having now. Uh, basic Education Department of Basic Education, National Senior Certificate, Grade 12. And this is paper, paper one, February, March 2018. So guys, the time to answer this question paper is three hours, and then the marks, uh, that is 150. So let us go through everything the instructions and the information. Read the following instruction carefully, and then um, yeah, the question paper consists of 11 uh, questions, then answer all questions, number the, co the answers correctly according to the numbering system used in this question paper, Clearly show all calculations, diagrams, graphs, etc., that you have used in determining your answer. Answer on, answers only will not necessarily be awarded full marks. So that means you need to show your calculations. Fine. And then getting to number uh, number six, you may use an approved scientific calculator, non-programmable and non-graphic otherwise. In a sense, as stated otherwise. Necessarily drawn to scale. Information sheet with formula is included at the end of the question. and legit. You know what? Uh, at the marking center, there is no time to scrutinize your your bad handwriting. Make sure that your handwriting is legible enough. Okay, thank you. Now let's get to question number one. This is question one. Solve for x, 1.1.1. .1 .1. X squared minus six x minus 16 equals zero. Now this is a quadratic equation. Now in a quadratic equation, you if you are asked to solve for x, this is the quadratic formula. Right, for number two, 1.1.2, here you have to use quadratic formula. Because this is an inequality. Critical values, and then after, find, uh, after finding the critical values, you must sketch the graph where you'll have to determine where the graph is less than zero that will be below the line 
Yes, and after that, you draw the sketch. Those are the three steps that, to, that you are to follow. So, guys, another one is this one. This is always six marks. You'll have one simultaneous equation to solve. And then evaluation. This uh, exponents. Normally, when you have a plus or minus sign between, you have to take out the common factor. Take out the common factor. The common factor is always the exponent with the smallest, uh, I mean, with the base with the smallest exponent. And then number five, 1.5. Number 1.5, you will be given, uh, is it something that is, if something that is under the square root sign, is less than zero, then we will have that real roots. So for real roots, in this case, it is now and thereafter, so at x is the whole thing. Let's get to the now. Um, you will be the factors of C must have negative, I mean, absence. This is what and the bigger factor must take the side of the middle term. In this case, the bigger one, because this is negative, here too, to or where we have whether this be regular or not. No. Okay. I just want to share this. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah, I can see it. It's working fine. It's working fine, it's working fine, it's working fine. But now, uh, um, yes. All right, yeah. Then let's move on to the next. Let's move on to the next. When we move on to the next one, this, we will have to use quadratic. Quadratic is minus b plus minus the square root of the discriminant all over 2a. Now, in this case, our a is 2, our b is positive 7, and our c is negative that. Then, please, 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 never write this. Don't write the quadratic formula because it is provided. What you need to do is to start by substituting right answers substitute and after substitution you will get this then after that use your calculator to write because your answer must be correct to two decimal places as stated so the final answer will be 0 0,14 and in this case when you change the, this sign here you'll get negative 3.64 now, for when you use um, plus, you'll get 0, 0,1 that. And then for negative, you will get that. So this is a reminder. Note, penalize one mark if the round you off to two decimal places is incorrect. Now, this is it. You need to know how to round off. You don't just cut the, the, the numbers behind the, 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 the digits that you are supposed to round to. You don't do that. Right. Now, this is um, the same as that. So let's get to the next. Uh, for the next, we have, um, we have this one. This is less than that. Now it's already factorized. That is for finding the CVs. It's factorized, and then that the CVs are minus five and plus five. You always start with the smaller one. It must be on the left hand side. The bigger one must be on the right hand side. Now this is less. So the critical values are here and there. That is why they, they wrote it like this. Now 
if you look at this, by substituting here, you get positive, and then here it's a critical value. And then when you multiply by any number which is between this, you get a negative. Any number which is outside that, that is greater than five, you'll get a positive. Remember, it is said that this should be less. That means it should be negative. Now that is between this and that. Your x lies between these two. Remember, there is no equal sign, therefore you can't shade this when you, you, you go to. Then, what do we do? You can use it this way. You can, if the factors x are element of natural number uh, of integers, then you'll have to do this. But if x is an element of real numbers, you are going to use um, it will be minus open bracket, x is an element, open bracket, minus 5, then so, um, uh, 5, then close bracket. That is what you need to do. But now, in this case, um, we have an, an, an inequality. We can also draw the graph. The graph will be concave up. That is why it is like that, because A is positive, critical values here, and then it's less. Then we concentrate on the part that is below, that is from um, negative 5 to that, that is between negative 5 and, and 5. So that is it. Now, final answers only note all right now this is how they mark it let's move to the next now to the next you have to use um what we call um simultaneous equation the first equation let let us move to it um uh yes let us move to it is one point yeah one point three is two uh, mi minus two y plus x equals minus one and x squared minus seven minus y squared is equal to negative y so here the easiest way is to find the value of x you start with this one always choose the simplest uh equation that will be the first. So let's move back to it. Let's move back, back to it. So yeah, here it is. Um, X must be equal to that. Then you get a mark for that. Then thereafter you substitute in this. After substitution, then you will get this squared is that, and then it this minus seven plus one is minus six. Now you have a common factor right throughout the you will have the bigger factor. So, guys, this is how you so. After that, you have to substitute the answer. This is an option. You substitute the answer. X minus 3. It's minus 11. X one is the answer. Later will give us the direction. 2017. And then up there, we make uh, here, we have to factorize by putting, by taking out 3 to the power 2017. Then you here you'll be left with 3 to the power 1 plus here 2016 minus 2017 is 3 to the power negative 1 then all over that now this cancels that and then you'll be left with 3 to the power 1 plus uh, 3 to the power negative 1 and that is the inverse of 3 the inverse of 3 is 1 over 3 then you add them up you get 3 and 1 third which is equal to 10 over over three. So this is it.
this is it. So there are ever so many ways. You can even take out the smallest, which is 2016. And then you take it out, then here you'll be left with this into that is 10 over 3. This is 10, then you'll be left with 3 to the power. We have 3 to the power x minus 5 is greater than 0. X must not be So we now move to the, the next one. So for the next one, this is how it is. This, then you get. They said it must not be equal to if two it is not equal. So let me check. No, that's it can be. It's wrong. So so now it's the first thing about it. Really, thank you very much. So, guys, now we are going to do another presentation that is a lesson. This was just the first to test how we are going to move on as of now. So thank you guys.